so many questions about your audition process because I was reading up about how you originally auditioned for Lily. And, you know, first it was making me wonder when you audition for an ensemble show like this, do you get the opportunity to see all the roles that are available and say to yourself, like, this is the one that speaks to me? Or is it a situation where the casting director says, here is your audition for this particular role? Yeah. So more like the latter. So I got through from my agent, I got through this audition that was for Lily. And I did, that was the, uh, all I saw were Lily's side. So I didn't see the rest of the script. I only saw Lily's stuff and I thought she was hilarious. And I loved like the show seemed amazing. And then my friend who actually, because of her job at the time, she'd read the script and she said to me, why aren't you going in for Amy? I feel like there's a character in it called Amy and she is your part. And I was like, well, I've got, I've got, you know, I've got an audition for Lily. And, you know, I I went in three times for Lily and I just, I hadn't really. And then it was after the third audition that they were like, sorry, it's not going to go your way with Lily. And I was like, okay, it's fine. That's really sad because I really love this show. And it was kind of the first thing for so long that I'd been dead excited about. And then they sent me through, but can you come in tomorrow with this new character, Amy? And I remembered my friends saying it and then I got the sides through and I was just laughing so much because some of the things on that script were verbatim things that I have said in my life. And I was like, oh my God, this is it. But yeah, I didn't really have a say in that at all. And I didn't know about the other characters really. I don't, because you get such a limited amount of information and then you get all the scripts through And I remember going to the read through and seeing everyone and going, oh, my God, yeah, everyone is perfectly cast. I remember seeing Tanya actually in an audition and going, oh, no, that's Lily. I remember thinking, no, I've lost the that's Lily. That's who they're going to cast as Lily, because there was something always a bit not quite right with me and Lily. And then, yeah, it was but it was it was absolutely kind of, you know, meant to be. It was just that is so the right casting. But what is it like for you being in an audition process and having to pivot? Because I imagine like a whole lot of high pressure auditioning for this one role. Was there any kind of adjustment period when you needed a refocus to go in for Amy at that point? Or was it just like, no, this feels right. I am good. Yeah, it was weird, you know, because I because I've been in so much. With, I've done chemistry reads with Eric's you know, for the scene where Lily like tries it on with Eric, I'd like met these different Eric boys that were going up for Eric. And like, it was, so I was quite far into the process with Lily. And then overnight, like I I didn't really have time to think about it because it was like tomorrow, come in with this part. And um, so there was a bit of it, but I remember Ben, our director, he like took me at like he just kind of took me aside. And I remember walking in and all of a sudden there were all these like producers there and there hadn't, there'd only been like three people up until that point. And then all of a sudden there was like a lot of people there. And I thought, okay, this is weird. And then Ben basically said, that kind of energy that you had with Lily, just funnel it into Amy because we think that what you were doing as Lily is actually right for Amy. And so it was kind of weird because it was this new character, but it was the same kind of energy that they wanted. It was just, yeah, funneled into a different character and it made so much more sense and it just aligned way more perfectly when it was Amy. Amy.